Hello, my name is Mike Ward. I'm the head of content at Script, Pink Sheet, and In Vivo. We're here in Copenhagen at the Bio Europe 2018 meeting, and I'm joined by uh, Richard Marsden, who's the Chief Executive Officer of Synergen, uh, a UK based company that's focusing on COPD. Yep. Okay, so COPD, it's you know, a, a well known sort of, you know, sort of global challenge. How does a small biotech company even think about addressing that challenge? Right, so we're, we're focused on a very specific moment in the patient's life as a COPD patient, and that is the exacerbation. So this is when symptoms uh, get worse, their lung function can change as well, and oftentimes they end up in uh, trouble and, and in hospital. So COPD is the second most common cause of hospitalization in England. That's how big the problem is. Yeah. But we're zooming in on a very specific bit, and that specific bit is when the COPD patient gets a cold virus or influenza virus. So about 40% of all exacerbations are caused by viruses. So we focus in on that point, and we're giving our drug, which is an inhaled antiviral protein. It's a protein that we all make when we get colds. Okay, but a COPD exacerbation is quite sudden, I mean, it's, and, and it's quite potentially quite violent. So, you know, how quickly can you sort of, you know, identify whether you know, the patient is the right patient or not for, for, for that approach? Yeah, so in a clinical trial setting, what we do is we rec recruit a cohort of patients. So we'll have a, a, a couple of hundred patients who are screened, we make sure they've got COPD and we characterize their COPD, and then we put them in a waiting pool until they show signs of either a cold coming along, so it'll be things like a sore or scratchy throat, change in nasal symptoms, and that feeling you're getting a cold, or a change in chest symptoms. So they then turn up at the trial site within 48 hours of those symptoms emerging, so it's a real world sort of situation. And this, the next step is crucial for us. We've got a new point of care diagnostic test that's been developed by Biomeria that uh, enables us to confirm that it's a viral infection. So about 40% of the people who turn up, or, or maybe higher, we expect to have a virus, and then they get the antiviral therapy that we're developing. The others will go back into the pool until they do show signs of a cold. And these okay. patients, you know, we get two to four colds per year, so it's gonna happen. So that companion diagnostic, which yeah. I guess it is, uh, do, have you licensed that from Biomeria? I mean, is, is it part of your package or, you know, go no, forward? No, no, this is commercially available. Okay. It's being, it's a, it's a game changer. I mean, it's attractive to, to medics all over the place uh, and, and hospitals and, and healthcare providers because it enables people to make the sensible decision about prescribing an antibiotic because antibiotics are often prescribed when there's a virus there. Yeah. Well, there isn't anything that can yeah. be given to these patients if they've got a virus other than perhaps Tamiflu, which is the virus specific therapy. So at the moment, viral infection, you might be yeah. given antibiotics to protect against a secondary bacterial infection, but at the moment we need something for these patients. So, okay, so, COPD, you know, a lot of the time, I think you know, people are treated with things like you know, steroids or yeah. labbers or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, the molecule that you've got, which you say is in phase two? Yeah, that's right, right yeah. What, what, what does it do? Or okay. How does it work? Right, so it's, it's a protein called interferon beta, and it's something we all make when we get a cold. So when we get a cold, yeah. we might feel a bit naff up here, we might get a sore throat, and um, those sorts of symptoms. Uh, but if you've got lung disease and that virus, you know, when we, when we get a cold, we breathe that virus in and our lungs will co combat that virus and, and very rarely we might get a bit of a cough or something like that. But if you've got COPD, the chances are that you're going to become quite unwell and you will need oral corticosteroids and maybe antibiotics to prevent that secondary bacterial infection coming in after the virus has done its harm. So we make interferon beta naturally but what we found in cell cultures, which use COPD cells from volunteers, those cells didn't cope with the virus. The virus is winning the battle. The virus is a bit like a parasite. It wants to jump into a cell, use the machinery in the cell to replicate itself, burst the cell open, and then spread to other cells and other humans. Yeah, sure. Now, if you don't make enough interferon beta, which is what we found in the cultures, then the virus has got a head start. Right. So what we're doing is putting interferon beta back into the lungs, uh, overcoming this sort of deficiency and boosting the, the natural antiviral immune response so that the patients, if this trial works out, uh, will 
not have exacerbations, and if they're having an exacerbation, will recover more rapidly. Okay, and the beta interferon, is it an inhaled? Yeah, we're giving it by inhalation. So it's a drug which has been, you know, given billions yeah. of dollars to Biogen and yeah. Serono before that. Uh, so it's a very successful drug given by injection for multiple sclerosis patients. Sure. So that's great for us because we know that any drug that goes through the lungs into the blood compartment is unlikely to cause any strange adverse events. Yeah. Uh, so we're giving it by inhalation at the right time to these patients, just correcting that problem which exists. So could you describe the scope of the phase two trial that you have running at the moment? Yeah, so it's in the UK and it's got about 15 sites and 120 patients and placebo controlled, blinded, and we're waiting for those patients to, to turn up at the site, confirm it's a virus and then treat for two weeks. Right, and the endpoints are the sort of the usual yeah. COPD goal. Yeah, well, it's all about symptoms. You know, at the end of the day, when patients get these events and they're the colds that hit their chest, uh, it's symptoms which lead them to uh, get concerned, they will contact their GP, they might phone, uh, you know, to get, and get admitted to hospital, uh, and it, but it's symptoms that drive it. Okay, so when do you expect the phase two trial to? to so, complete? second half of next year. Okay. And I'm here at this event because there are lots of big pharma companies that should be very interested in this, and this sort of event is quite good for flushing out the, the less obvious pharma companies from. Uh, different territories and I'll, I'm enjoying the conversations I've had here. So that would be, so you'd get a partner who would, what, support another trial? Yeah, so a good result from this trial would lead into a phase 2B trial, uh, which could be one of the pivotal trials for the programme. And because this is such a big opportunity, we need to put it in the hands of a large pharma company. And we've got a good dialogue with many of the large pharma companies. But some of the mid-size are very interesting potential partners as well. Right, okay. And yeah, so going forward, I mean, so, you know, with, 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 with Synergen, um, what, what else do you have in the, in the pipeline? Or is, is, yeah. is this your... Only asset. Yeah, as well, this is what I'm focused on here at this meeting uh, because you know it's about the business development process being here. But as a company, we partnered with a company called Pharmaxis from Australia. So we, we work with them on an antifibrotic, which is very useful for uh, a, a lung disease called IPF. Yeah. Uh, but it is also has potential in NASH, a liver disease. Right. Uh, we worked with them for two years. Uh, the program became more liver orientated, and we don't do liver. Yeah. So we've, we've uh, handed it back to Pharmaxis. They're progressing it now. Yeah. Uh, they've uh, just about completed phase one clinical trials and are talking about licensing this on in, in a very hot area. Uh, so that's what we're about. Right, okay. So, the, do you anticipate being able to do a deal before you've got the, the, the phase two, what, A results? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's sort of, it's, it's slightly bigger and better than a phase 2A. Right. Uh, so it's a, it's a so proof of concept. For, yeah, sort of, yeah. Uh, so it's, it's going to give some, some good data. And I think the, the deal, you know, I, I could do a, a sort of early entry deal, but, you know, this data isn't far away. And I would much rather do a, a big deal with a large pharmaceutical yeah. company that can take this global. Right. Okay. So, good. Well, Richard, thanks yeah, for it's been brilliant. Thank you. Cheers.